Chapter 11 Measurement In our everyday life, we need to measure many things. For example, the street vendor measures the quantity of vegetables, fruits, etc. Milk man measures the quantity of milk, the tailor measures the length of a cloth, and so on. Let us discuss the methods and units for measuring each of these. Some of the standard units that we use are length, meter, m, weight, gram, g, time, seconds, s, volume, liter, l, temperature, degree. Measurement of length. Length is the measure of how long a thing is or measurement of anything from one to another. In olden times, people used their body parts as units to measure the length of an object. They used hand span, foot span, cubit, and stride for measuring objects. Nowadays, we have fixed units of measuring things. Meter is a unit used for measuring lengths. You must have seen a scale. A scale is used to measure the distance between two points. Small scale is used to measure small distance and long scale is used to measure long distance such as a cricket field and length of street etc. We use different types of scales. We use a ruler, a meter, rod or measuring tape to measure length. The ruler or scale measures length in inches, millimeters and centimeters. These are the units of length. The meter, rod or scale is divided into 100 equal divisions called centimeters. Each centimeter is divided into small divisions called millimeters. Very long distances are measured in kilometers. Look at the measurement units of length. 10 millimeters equal to 1 centimeter cm, 100 centimeters equal to 1 meter m, 1000 meters equal to 1 kilometer km. Measurement of weight. Weight is the measurement of quantity of a substance and measure weight with the help of a balance or a weighing machine. We measure weight in gram and kilogram. We can measure our weight on a weighing machine. Fruits, vegetables, pulses, etc. are measured by weighing machine. Look at the measurement units of weight. 1000 mg equal to 1 gram. 1000 grams equal to 1 kilogram. 1000 kilograms equal to 1 ton. Very small weights are measured in grams gm and milligrams mg. Gold and silver are measured in grams and milligrams. Nowadays, you will mostly come across electronic weighing machines. Measurement of volume. The amount of liquid which a container holds is known as its volume. Liter is commonly used as a unit of measuring volumes. Smaller amounts of liquid are measured in millimeters. Look at the measurement units of volume. 1000 millimeters equal to 1 liter L. 1000 liters equal to 1 kiloliter KL. We use special jars like measuring cylinders marked in millimeters and liters to measure volume of liquids. The liquid is poured into these jars and the volume is ready by marking on them. You might have seen your milkman measuring the volume of milk to be given. Measurement of time. We measure time with the help of a wrist watch, a timepiece or a clock. Some of the standard units that we use are 1 minute equal to 60 seconds, 1 hour equal to 60 minutes, 1 day equal to 24 hours. In a watch, there are three hands. The short hand shows hours, the long hand shows minutes and the thin and the longest hand which moves the fastest shows seconds. In some watches, the second hand is missing. Digital clock work with the electronic current supplied by a cell. They directly display time and digits. Stop watches can be started or stopped by pressing a button. Scientific fact 
Stopwatches show time in seconds. Measurement of temperature. Temperature is the measure of how hot or cold an object or place is. We measure the temperature of things using a thermometer. Temperature is measured in degree Celsius C or degree Fahrenheit F. Our normal body temperature is 37 degrees C. Doctor reading temperature, clinical thermometer, room thermometer. Doctors use a clinical thermometer to measure the temperature of a patient's body. A room thermometer measures temperatures from minus 40 degrees C to 50 degrees C. We also read and hear the temperature of a day in weather forecast.